All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Studios. Man, I've been working my ass off all day long, but in the last hour or so, I've been working my ass off on this website. Man, for you people who do website development, kudos to you. I guess once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad, but trying to figure out all the little nuances of a new web developing site thing. And I think I'm doing with Wix. It's whatever my niece set me up with. She's uh, one of those website development pipe people. And uh, we're finally getting it. I'm trying to put together the page for Econ 1 build series uh, with all the parts listing, pictures, and videos, and things like that. We're going to do a really cool uh, deal where I'm going to go through a parts list for each rifle in a video, and then we'll put the list on there so you guys can go in and click on the... It'll have all the links and everything for you. It's pretty really neat. Um, which, by the way, I'm going to be shooting photos, studio photos. will be with this guy right here. Mr. Cobra Burnout sent this guy out to me. And this was from a gentleman called RadLabs3D.com. Pretty neat stuff right there. Um, so anyway, all the pictures will be taken with using this guy. Um, secondly, I was I had to turn around and go back home this week because uh, I left my computer sitting on my desk at the house. So it's a little 17-hour round trip for me to do that. So in any case, um, I'm continuing the series with the, uh, what do you call it, the reloading bench. And on that bench, we're not only going to have a single-stage press. I may even do a, another single-stage press with the, uh, the lead precision so I can hook the drill up a couple other things and use it for certain things. Uh, with that being said, I used to do my uh, tra brass trimming with the Lee Precision D Burr trimmer and uh, D chamfer thing, but uh, some friends of mine told me about this guy right here. This is the world's finest trimmer, Little Crow Gunworks LLC. So I bought this off of Amazon, and the idea is I'm going to take this, I'm going to show you a couple tricks and what I'm going to do, but I'm going to hook it up to something that's permanent, not a drill and a press going to be pretty neat it's going to be part of the brass uh what do you call it? prepping station all right so uh with that being said let's go ahead and start this story i was sent an email by mr derek p-d-e-r-e-c-k about this hr 4953 now this has probably been out there for a while but i'm going to do it in my own little fashion it's going to be pretty cool so on august 6 i guess this guy named mr douche uh, and a guy, Carson Cooper, D. Saunier, uh, Mr. Jones, Mr. Lowenthal, of course, Raskins, and Mrs. Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Ms. Williams of Georgia introduced the bill, uh, and it's right now in committee. It's kind of interesting. And what they want to do is they want to add to the NFA. So this is what they're going to do is try to actually change this name to the act may be cited as the National Firearms Act of 2021. And uh, it's pretty neat because it also, it amends the uh, Internal Revenue Code of 1986. Now, the NFA 1986, you guys are catching the drift. NFA, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> what they want to do, all semi-automatic rifles with the capacity to accept a detachable magazine treated as a firearm under the NFA. Now, that's pretty interesting. So, someone like myself who has multiple I am in possession already now with my legal to own semi-automatic firearm with a detachable magazine, semi-automatic shotgun, semi-automatic everything. Uh, they want you to now have to register these firearms under the NFA. Not only that, but because it's part of the Internal Revenue Tax Code, oh, they want $200 each. So let me read this thing to you. So what they're doing is they're going to actually amend the uh, tax code to uh, uh, strike out the destructive device and inserting a destructive device and, Section 9, a semi-automatic rifle or shotgun that has the capacity to accept a detachable ammunition feeding device. And what does this do? It pretty much will make every damn firearm in the entire country an NFA item. And you wouldn't, I would expect nothing less from Debbie Wasserman Schultz. If uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I know Diane Feinstein's all over this thing. So, uh, yeah. So they are making, basically making uh, anything a rifle uh, a destructive device. 
Okay, so applicability. Uh, it says here, any person who on the date of the enactment of this act lawfully owns or possesses a semi-automatic rifle or shotgun as defined in the new section of the 5845A of such code as amended by this act that has the capacity to accept a detachable ammunition feeding device and they have to go into all the definitions because that's part of what the tax code is and the ATF and all the other bullshit. Uh, as defined in the section, shall not later than 120 days after the date of the enactment of this act register the semi-automatic rifle or shotgun in accordance with the section of 5841 of the such code. And uh, it goes on, such registration shall become part of the National Firearms Registration and Transfer Record required to be maintained by such section. I'll put the links down below to this thing. I have... Uh, there's one thing, uh, I believe there's a website and they say that has a 0.09% chance of passing because it is a waste of time. These assholes need to be figuring out how to properly, uh, manage their lives and quit managing minds. You ever notice the difference between a Republican and a Democrat? And I'm not saying all Democrats, but I am saying the majority of the Republicans is say, leave me alone. Get the fuck out of my life. Let me do my thing. Too many people out there named Karen are worried about what you are doing. And if you got something, they don't. It's absolutely disgusting. But anyway, y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. Yeah, the NFA uh, Act of 2021 is an interesting thing. So with that being said, uh, comments down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. Let me get back on here to working on this website. KB32Tech.com. KB32, I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Hey, go over there and subscribe to uh, the uh, the Cobra Burnout. It's an awesome channel. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. I've already done that. Boom. He does a boom also. A lot better than my boom. But, but you know, he's Air Force. It's kind of sad.